Okay, so now we have our level that we created, and we put our player in there. Now we want to start. We want to run this level. So let's go to our script editor, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to include the um, default.c and we're going to include the light oops, light c dot h and we're also going to include the next oops dot h as well okay so um, let's just really quickly make sure that okay, I didn't type in acnex. Actually, you know what? I think it's just acnex. Yes, okay. So, alright, so that's just acnex. And we're going to be running this program. from this project folder, right? We're running our main script when we push F5 now. So that will tell us if we have any errors. Okay. So now we've included our includes. We can start with our function main, which is our main function. When the game starts, it will start by doing what we put here. So the first thing that it's going to do when we start the game is going to be um, oh, well, we need to set the video mode to 8, and that means that our video resolution is going to be 1024 by 600, and if you wanted, uh, if you wanted to have, for example, um, like full resolution 1920 by 8, uh, 10, uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels, you'd set your video mode to 12. Now if you look in your manual under video mode, you'll see all the different modes that you can have available to you. Now normally um, in the past versions I would use video depth here Oops. equals 32 but the default is 32 and so there's no point in having that there and no one is gonna, like unless you want to make like a black and white game uh, then you'd maybe want to use 16-bit, but even for that, I'm not sure if you'd want to use 16-bit color depth. Um, so anyway, we're just going to omit that, and we're going to go right to video screen equals 2. So this is going to start our game in window mode. If you want it to start full screen, set it to 1. Um, and if there is nothing to render in your project, set it to 0. And then we have FPS max equals 60 and FPS min equals 16 and FPS lock is equal to on and FPS lock is basically for lag now if your game starts to lag um, if you have FPS lock on what's gonna happen is that it's just going to um, slow your game will slow down with the lag so uh, if there's an enemy in front of you it's not gonna keep killing you um, while it's lagging um, it'll just slow down and your the enemy will like basically um, slow down with you whereas if you have that set to off you the player will or your player uh, will lag um, but the enemies will continue at full speed and kill the player while it's lagging so it depends on your preference the style of game you're creating right now I'm gonna be creating this with it set to on and then of course sky color dot um, red is zero and sky color dot green equals zero sky color dot blue oops, is equal to 255 and that will make a nice light blue um, sky color and then from there we can level load and you'll notice that I'm putting semicolons at the end of each line here and that's separating our code so that the engine knows that 
this isn't what we're talking about because you can see how this changes color when it's side by side right so it needs the semicolon you know you can have it right beside the semicolon like this they, they can all be on the same line um, that's not good practice but the script will work and will run um, but definitely needs the semicolon so going back to here level load we're going to level load FPS main but we're not going to load FPS main dot C because that's the name of our script and if you remember that's what we named the script here so this level knows to load that script so we can't tell the script to load the script uh, otherwise it doesn't make any sense so what we need to do is we need to look at this extension here whoops and see it's a WMP file now that's not what we're going to be loading either that's the name of this um, the save file for this, this level rather when we build it so um, when we build it it creates a WMB file so it's easy to remember what the file extension is by remembering its WMB which you could remember that B is for build so knowing that we can come back here and we type in FPS main dot WMB because we're loading the built level and that's it now if we uh, press F5 room 1 can't open the file and that is because because we didn't set a pragma path here uh, we need to define Okay. All right. Let's fix this. Pragma path, and I do believe that it goes into um, these quotes. Oops. And yes, that is in a path such as that. And we need to include the path that our models and skins are in. So we have to include um, models. And skins. Now, I just made an error here. I have to fix this. This is actually number defined like that. Sorry about that. OK. So then we'll run. And now, if we push, sorry, if we push 0, we can now see our level that we created and our little temporary player. And the reason why we made our temporary player that um, little cube thing is because we're not going to see our player immediately. And to do what we're going to be doing, we're going to we're going to use that as a base, and then create the actual model itself on top of it. <clears throat> so this will in fact be invisible where the actual player model uh, won't be <clears throat> and that's what the um, player will see if for example they run in front of a mirror or something so if you're wondering why we're using that it's basically just for skeletal structure purposes so there we go we have our room and we've run our level next thing we need to do is um, attach our view to this player here so that we can uh, start looking around and once we can look around we'll start adding to our level